tonight, Labor pledges an extra $2 billion for health if they're elected. But Bill Shorten admits that's still well short of what the coalition government cut. Brisbane police release a 35-year-old man questioned over the death of a little boy aged 21 months. Are you living in a former meth lab? A warning tonight, there are serious health consequences and thousands could be at risk. Survivors remember the Army's worst peacetime disaster, the Black Hawk collision in which 18 men were killed. And more celebrations to mark the Queen's birthday, but look who stole the spotlight. This is 10 Eyewitness News, first at five, with Natasha Belling. Good evening. First tonight, Labor has unveiled a $2 billion boost for the nation's hospitals, arguing they will cut waiting times for elective surgery and in emergency rooms. From the combined resources of its regional newsrooms across the country, this is Wings All Australian News. Hello and welcome to Wins All Australian News. I'm Corinne May. A family is trying to raise enough money to send their boy to the US for treatment that might extend his life. This is Win News. Tonight, five dead as 11 police officers are shot by snipers in Dallas. A man and woman in court accused of making drugs in their eastern shore backyard. Fears for the financial future of Tasmania's greyhound industry. Malcolm Turnbull edges towards a narrow election victory. And the drastic steps being taken to protect our athletes in Rio. Good evening, I'm Lucy Braden. The fuse has been lit on what threatens to be some of the worst racial violence America has ever seen. Just a few hours ago, two snipers opened fire in Dallas. This is Win News. Tonight, as vote counting continues, another one bites the dust. The ACT greyhound racing industry fights for survival. And Scouts premiere a stage spectacular with a twist at Canberra Grammar School. Good evening, I'm Jeff Phillips. Also tonight, an important new addition to Canberra Airport's growing art collection. Tonight, unmasked, the man accused of pointing a gun at his own daughter's head after leading police on a wild chase through Adelaide. Going around in circles, irate Port Gawler locals call for action as the latest spate of hoon driving lands two people in hospital. Sick system, the life-saving medical equipment collecting dust in Adelaide because of the hospital legal row. And we join the party as some Christmas cheers handed out to the kids who need it most. This is 10 Eyewitness News, first at five with Rebecca Morse. Good evening. A suppression order has been lifted on the identity of a man who was shot by police after holding a gun to his child's head at the end of a wild chase. Tonight, protest, arrest. Row 8 activists clash with police at the Belia wetlands. Spared jail. A hospital pharmacist avoids prison for stealing drugs to feed his addiction. Crash landing. A pilot and passenger walk away after their plane ditches into a field. And the local school that's added AFL to the girls' curriculum at the expense of some egos. This is 10 Eyewitness News, first at five, with Narelda Jacobs. Good evening and welcome from our new studios in Subiaco. First tonight, there's been a huge police presence in our southern suburbs as Belia Wetlands officially became a construction site. This is Win News. Tonight, a contractor charged over the death of Jason Garrett. Two council workers save a life and Superboat set to return to the Fraser Coast. 
Good evening. First tonight, police have charged an electrical contractor with manslaughter more than four years after the death of Jason Garrels at a Clermont building site. This is Win News. Tonight, desperate times for a business repeatedly targeted by thieves. Arson investigation after a bridge is raised in flames. And the industry that's on high alert over a foreign invader. Good evening. An Edmonton business manager, repeatedly targeted by thieves, is calling on parents to take responsibility for their children's whereabouts. This is Win News. Tonight, a contractor charged over the death of Jason Garrels. LNP candidates surge ahead in the polls. And results from the school holiday road safety blitz. Good evening. First tonight, police have charged an electrical contract with manslaughter more than four years after the death of Jason Garrels at a Clermont building site. Win News. Tonight, a manslaughter charge laid over a gimpy labourer's death. A nine-year-old boy bitten by a neighbour's dog. And a man robbed of cash after using an ATM. Good evening. First tonight, police have charged an electrical contract with manslaughter more than four years after the death of gimpy man Jason Garrels at a Clermont building site. This is Win News. Tonight, a new hope for the region's embattled dairy industry. The LNP steps up its fight to win the Toowoomba South by-election and Warwick's push to bring back the billy cart. Good evening, thanks for joining us. First tonight, a 28-year-old man has been remanded in custody, charged over a violent attack in Wilsonton on Saturday night that left one woman with stab wounds to her face and neck. This is Win News. Tonight, all the thrills from the Townsville 400. Police call off the search for a missing fisherman and a recount likely for the seat of Herbert. Good evening. First tonight, Townsville was in overdrive on the weekend and the fans weren't disappointed. It Tonight, a bikey boss back in handcuffs as police raids target the Mongol outlaw motorcycle gang. The family of a murdered mum weeps as her ex-partner is convicted of her stabbing death. I'm no hero, says the humble truckie who put his life on the line to save others after a horror freeway pileup. A daughter's emotional plea for answers after her loving father disappeared without a trace. And who's lucky in Leangatha, a small town abuzz, wondering just who is Australia's newest multi-millionaire. This is 10 Eyewitness News, first at five, with Stephen Quartermay and Candace Wyatt. Good evening. Also tonight, a fair go for public transport commuters as the state government scraps on-the-spot fines. Tonight, airlifted a man is seriously injured in an horrific workplace explosion. Epidemic regional areas in the midst of a drugs crisis. And member for Indi, Cathy McGowan, agrees to work with the government. Good evening, I'm Amy Duggan. Also tonight, the Victorian greyhound racing industry responds following yesterday's shock announcement. This is Win News. Tonight, mental health staff walk off the job in Ballarat. North Ballarat Football Club's CEO announces his resignation. And the Melbourne Cup returns to Ballarat on its Australasian tour. Good evening, I'm Amy Duggan. Also tonight, new data reveals commercial investors are flocking to Ballarat. This is Wynn News. 
Tonight, revelations a man accused of a terrifying home invasion is a drug user. A Heathkit man shares his story after a senseless one-punch attack and Bendigo's new hospital shows off its new kitchen. Good evening, I'm Amy Duggan. Also tonight, the Australian Ballet visits Central Victoria. This is Win News. Tonight, a woman severely burnt at a property in Maui. Assurances the Victorian greyhound racing industry is safe. And an increase in regional drug possession rates. Good evening, I'm Amy Duggan. Also tonight, a push to get more Asian tourists to East Gippsland. This is Win News. Tonight, police discussed as an ugly brawl mars Shepherd and Soccer. Counting continues in Murray as the coalition is re-elected. And 40 years of breath testing in Victoria. Good evening, I'm Bruce Roberts. Also tonight, regional Victorian pups gear up for the annual Sled Dog Classic at Falls Creek. Tonight, a Sydney driver in a critical condition after police doused him with capsicum spray. It happened right in the middle of one of our busiest roads. A man is charged over a fatal crash that killed two people and the families of both victims were there to support him. The fight over penalty rates for workers rises up and bites Bill Shorten where it hurts. Jared Haynes' NFL experiment is over. He played a handful of games before the Hain plane got hit by the reality bus. Better late than never. The Queen celebrates her 90th birthday and our own pop princess stole the show. And losing your head as Sydney gets all dressed up for Australian Fashion Week. This is 10 Eyewitness News. First at 5 with Sandra Sully and Hugh Rimmington. Good evening. First tonight, a Sydney driver is barely clinging to life after police sprayed him with capsicum spray after he was pulled over on Old Windsor Road at Glenwood this afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm Emma LaRouche. Here are your local news headlines. Police Commissioner Andrew Scipioni has apologised to the families of the Barraville murder victims during his long-awaited visit to the town. This is Win News. Tonight, local greyhound owners and trainers uncertain about their future. National NAIDOC Week celebrated in Orange. And ice hockey exhibition matches to be played in Bathurst. Good evening, I'm Jeff Phillips. Also tonight, what the new transport reforms mean for local taxi drivers. This is Win News. Tonight, the Baird Government Greyhound ban, the outcry grows louder. A loose Phyllis Bestos alert for a Wagga homeowner. And a possible bikey link to a Wagga firearm seizure. Good evening, I'm Jeff Phillips. Welcome to Win 6 o'clock news. Also tonight, registered nurses threaten to close Wagga Hospital surge beds over a staffing dispute. This is Win News. Tonight, a local greyhound track considering legal action against the racing ban. What is the future of greyhound tracks if the ban stays? And campaigners to meet with crossbenchers to put steel on the national agenda. Good evening, I'm Jeff Phillips. Welcome to Win 6 o'clock news. Also tonight, plans revealed for a large apartment block at the gateway to Wollongong. <laughs> 